good morning this is a, a 15 year old boy weighing 47 kg uh, he is diagnosed as sinus venous as ASG with uh, partial anomalous venous drainage of right upper pulmonary vein he is having class 2 symptoms uh, so echocardiography confirmed the 18 millimeter sinus venous as ASD with a partial anomalous pulmonary venous drainage of right upper pulmonary vein, dilated RARV, no pulmonary arterial hypertension and good uh, ventricular function. So subcostal image, you can see there is a large uh, sinus venous as ASD and you can see uh, there are two streams of flow. One is the flow of SVC, another one is the right upper pulmonary vein. Here you can see the dilated RARV and uh, rvot view there is no pulmonary stenosis there there is no pulmonary arterial hypertension also so we are planning for a transcatheter closure venous venous asd using a covered stent good morning everyone we are live from narana super specialty hospital howrah we are planning to do a tran uh, transcatheter closure of a sinus venous asd using a covered stent this is a, a 16 year old boy 38 uh, 58 kg body weight where in trans thoracic echo we measured a 17 to 18 millimeter uh, sinus venous as ASG with partial anomalous venous drainage of the right upper pulmonary vein we got a CT scan also done now we will focus into the trans esophageal echo so if we see the transesophageal echo, let's go to the mid-esophageal bicable view that is around 70 to 80 degree, where we will be able to see the sinus venosus ASD. Yeah, this is the one. As you can see, if I put color, um, yeah, we are getting a left to right continuous, uh, uh, left to right flow. So if we take the measurement, we are measuring the defect around okay so we are measuring it approximately 19 millimeter in this particular view so now this is the if i put color you can see the svc flow now let's check the right sided pulmonary veins yeah so as you can see the right sided pulmonary veins are draining directly into the la it's not directly draining into the svc so if we stain the SVC, we should not have any problem in the pulmonary veins. Uh, other things. Yeah, so let's take another measurement. We, this is the defect. We are measuring in this particular view. We are measuring it approximately uh, 16 to 17 millimeters. So that is the thing. We have a 16 to 19 millimeter sinus venous ASD with partial anomalous drainage of the pulmonary veins. Other things. One important finding, this particular child is having a left SVC which is draining into the roofed coronary sinus and there is no left uh, innominate vein. So you can see the dilated coronary sinus here, other pulmonary veins, these are the left sided pulmonary veins which is draining into the LA, I checked it. And let's focus on the right sided pulmonary veins, yeah here, these are also draining into the LA and you can see the dilated right atrium and right ventricle not much mr and tear in this particular procedure dr amitabh chattopadhyay and dr joyita will operate i will be taking care of the trans esophageal echo part and uh, we have staff nurse juhi and manos and shubhajit is taking care of the technician uh, role of the technician and parijat is taking care of the anesthesia part so let's proceed so first we are doing a septostomy just to keep a catheter into the right upper pulmonary vein we are doing it under trans esophageal eco guidance so we took accesses like we got a right femoral vein so now the catheter is into the pulmonary vein as you can see in the right upper pulmonary venous pressure is around 14 millimeter of mercury we have a right femoral vein through which we'll do the procedure we have a left femoral vein through which we put a catheter into the pulmonary vein we got a neck access also through which we are preparing a venovenous loop now so we got a venovenous loop from the right into uh, uh, femoral vein to the right internal jugular vein now we are inflating a balloon 
22 into 4 millimeter uh, 40 centimeter 20, uh, Z made balloon and we have inflated fully up to 4 atmospheric pressure just to occlude the sinus venosus ASG and now we have to profile the pulmonary vein as you can see we have completely inflated the uh, balloon Z made balloon 22 into 40 centimeter uh, 20 to 40 millimeter balloon and as you can see the sinus venosus ASG is completely closed in the transesophageal echo uh, but the pulmonary vein the right upper pulmonary venous flow is interrupted so it's obstructed we are injecting to the right upper pulmonary vein as you can see there is a holding of dye the dye is partly coming to the LA but it's not a freely flowing uh, so, so we are having a obstruction at the level of the right upper pulmonary vein when we have inflated the uh, 22 millimeter balloon into the SVCRA junction. Though we got a complete occlusion of the sinus venosus ASG. Okay, let's go to the lateral view and let's take a, another injection of the right upper pulmonary vein. Again, you can see the the dye is holding. There is a hanging of dye. The pulmonary vein is definitely obstructed it's partly draining into the LA but uh, the flow is obstructed that you can see in the angio that you can see in the uh, transesophageal echo also let's check the pulmonary venous pressure initially it was around 10 to 12 uh, open the okay let's see the pulmonary venous pressure now we are having a pressure of around 15 millimeter of mercury so definitely it has gone up so that is the thing let's Okay, another injection we are doing. You can see the if we inject into the pulmonary vein, the SVC flow is it's flowing into the SVC, but it's not draining freely into the LA. So with a 22 millimeter balloon, we had obstruction. So let's downsize the balloon. We are downsizing the balloon. We are inflating a 20 into 40 millimeter Z made balloon here. Yeah again we are inflating another balloon we have downsized the balloon we are inflating a smaller one let's see what happens okay so we have inflated the balloon fully we have increment in the pulmonary venous pressure now again the pulmonary venous pressure has gone up to 15 millimeter of mercury as you can see in the transesophageal echo again the right upper pulmonary vein is obstructed though the obstruction is probably slightly lesser than the bigger balloon but still it's significantly obstructed and pulmonary venous pressure now you can see it's 16 millimeter mercury and if I inject again you are seeing a hanging of dye though the, the dye is definitely coming into the LA partly but no definitely there is a hanging of dye the venous pathway is obstructed and the confirmation pulmonary venous pressure is almost 17 to 18 millimeter of mercury now and definitely there is a flow acceleration across the right upper pulmonary vein which is clearly demonstrated in the transesophageal echo so probably this case we won't be able to do so every time we are having obstruction in the pulmonary vein uh, uh, we have downsized the balloon up to 20 millimeter of mercury but still we are having a pulmonary venous obstruction so probably this child is not suitable for a trans catheter closure of sinus venosus ASG so we are abandoning the case and probably this child will do well with a surgical closure